Hi, this is Paul, CEO of Thermavent, and the question is under frequently asked questions is, do I need gable vents with the Thermavent? And the answer is absolutely no. Um, if you have gable vents, don't worry, you're not going to have to go through costly removals of them, but you can go inside and cover them up with plastic. So the reason why you do not want gable vents, and this kind of, if you had already watched the one right above this, where we're talking about other turtle vents or power vents, um, you do not want a gable vent. Okay, so our system, even the attic system works like this. You have the ridge vent at the top and you have air entering at the bottom. You don't want to mess this cycle up. If you actually put holes through anywhere in midway up on the attic, it would actually bring, or like on the wall of your attic, it would actually bring in air and that would actually short circuit the whole thing because the air wouldn't really know which way to go. Hot air rises, but when you allow for uh, other ways for air to come in, it'll short circuit the drafting system that you've created. So uh, with an attic, you want ridge at the very top, whatever the highest point in your at attic is uh, for a given slope. Um, and you want the lower spots to allow the air to come in. With our system, you don't have to have soft vents. Uh, we overcome the issue of having soft vents and the costly installation of getting a carpenter in there to cut things out. Or if you don't even have it, if you have an old house that has a stone wall that goes all the way up to the edge of your uh, roof, which is very common with old homes or even brick houses, or sometimes they just don't have overhangs and there's no soffit. So how do you get an attic to vent? How do you get a roof to vent? And we've, we've uh, figured that out. And um, so when you're talking about gable vents, what the issue with a gable vent is, if you have a ridge vent, a gable vent on the side, and then you have air coming in the bottom, what's gonna happen is air follows a path of least resistance. So you have the ridge vent and the hot air is rising, right? So you have some hot air rising, but it's gonna start pulling in from the path of least resistance, which would be the gable vents. And you say, well, it can't be that bad because you know there's only gable vents on either end, whatever, the middle of the roof will work fine. Uh, yeah, it depends because what we've found in our tests where we've actually gone in attics and we're testing the different temperatures is with gable vents. If you have a gable vent and a ridge vent, you can pretty much measure from the top, the edge of your ridge vent out seven to 10 feet and then draw a triangle line all the way down to the edge of your roof at the very base. And pretty much it short circuits that entire area. And we know this by actually testing attic air temperatures of real customers who are wanting to uh, get a thermo vent installed or we're just trying to educate them on how ventilation works and then how soft vent, gable vent, and a ridge vent. And, um, and they won't have a thermo vent system because this is before it was created. And uh, we're showing them actual temperatures. We'll take the customer up in the attic and show them. And they're just like, I cannot believe that the air in the bottom of my attic where the soft vents are is hotter than up where my gable vent is in my ridge vent. They're like, I thought hot air rises. Well, it does, but if you short circuit it, it'll keep that air in the bottom and you've got a big issue. So if you have gable vents, don't be concerned in this way. You need to take care of the short circuit issue, but we uh, have our roofers go in the attic or somebody else who's qualified who knows how to go into the attic safely um, and cover the inside of that gable vent with plastic and seal it, whether that's uh, depends on how your gable vent is. Um, and most of the time, if you're looking from the outside, there's normally already a screen and you have, you know, different uh, louvers or, or however the gable vent is. Normally, you can't see all the way into your attic from the ground. And so when you put plastic up on the inside, normally it's not a deterrent. You can't even normally tell from the outside that you did that. And so that's why we recommend um, doing that versus... Um, doing something else. So um, gable vents are absolutely not allowed in the thermo vent system. You have a gable vent, you got to cover them up or remove them. Simple as that. Short circuits our system, gets bad airflow. So hope this helps. Thank you very much.